We start with those bombshell Trump memos revealing how deep the team went on its fake electors plot. The New York Times obtaining memos dated as far back as November 18th, 2020, the earliest known effort to prepare these fake electors, showing the Trump campaign was attempting to buy more time to undo the results. The memo, written by a lawyer, stating there is a very strong argument that the real deadline is not December 8th nor even December 14th, but January 6th. The Times reporting Rudy Giuliani used the memos to strategize. They were initially meant to address the Wisconsin challenge, but became a part of the broader legal strategy. Trump lawyer Boris Epstein admitted last month on the beat there was a fake elector scheme. Since then, the feds revealed they are investigating it. In Congress, the January 6th committee closing in on the elector's plot, a committee member telling me Pence's aides are shedding light on the probe. Today, the Arizona GOP chair and her husband now suing to block the committee from getting their phone records. They are accused of signing documents falsely claiming to be presidential electors. And another memo disclosed today, obtained by the Washington Post, dated December 18th, 2020, and circulated amongst Trump allies, it suggested Trump should invoke the powers of the National Security Agency in an attempt to show foreign powers had meddled in the election to help Biden win. We are seeing bombshell report after bombshell report on this election stealing plan. And Trump is seemingly nervous, hosting more rallies, appearing on right wing television, trying to deflect blame. Trump saying both Pence and Pelosi should be investigated. Today, going at Pelosi again, saying, Capital security was Pelosi's job, not the president's. Why am I and those around me responsible for anything? Fact check, again, the House Speaker, not responsible for security on Capitol Hill.